If you guys were wondering how to put pictures or designs inside of your fonts, today's your lucky day. Let's go. Um. Okay, so I know you've seen the rainbow fonts everywhere and you've seen uh, pictures inside of fonts. If you have Photoshop or PowerPoint, it's super easy. But what do you do if you're stuck with a Chromebook or you're only online and you want to do the same thing? So today I'm going to show you a super easy way to accomplish this super easy and wonderful and beautiful design technique. The first thing that we're going to do is we are going to come over to Photo P. Photo P is a Photoshop emulator that's online. So it's web-based, free. You don't even have to make an account. You just come over to photop.com. Right here, we're going to click on New Project. We're going to call it Rainbow Font. We'll just keep it at 1280 by 720, 72 DPI, and we're going to make sure that the background is transparent. And then click Create. From here, we're going to go to the Text tool on the left-hand side. You're going to make sure you have a font that's kind of thick because you want your design to show through. If you have a bunch of fonts that you've purchased and you want to do this in a custom font, that is also an option. You just have to have your text file handy. So let's create this with our own custom font, okay? Come up here to the top left, select the font, and you're going to load font. From there, you just got to find the font file. And we'll use one of these cool Jen Jones fonts. I know she has something called Hello Starbucks. There it is. Hello Starbucks. We'll select that. We'll open it. And we'll say Hello Starbucks. From here, we just want to get the design that we want to put inside of our font. So let's come over to any kind of color picker uh, website. I'm using coolers dot co and we just find a design we like this is kind of cool so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a screenshot and I'm gonna clip just the colors right here and I'm gonna come back to my photo editor and all I do is I just drag over my colors I make sure that they are covering all of the font Put this, put the color on top of the text font, and then just right click on that layer and select Clipping Mask. And voila! So I could also take a photo and clip that as well. And there you go. There's Hello Starbucks. Now that you have your text with your picture inside of it, you're going to go up to File, Export, and you're going to select PNG because you want to maintain the transparency of the background. You just click Save and then it saves into your downloads. And then when you come over to uh, something like your Google Slide Deck, all you have to do is take your PNG, slide it onto your Slide Deck, and there you go. So that, my friends, is how you can add any kind of design into your text with your own custom font. Just use a basic Photoshop technique called a clipping mask inside an online photo editor like Photo P. I'm Darren Akakihara, and that is your tech tip of the day.